I'm actually sick of talking. I'm sick of listening. You know, I want to let people do things. Innovation and creativity are like the two sides of the coin, right? You can't separate the two. If innovation is not creative, it's not innovation. If creativity didn't have innovation in it, then it's really not creativity. So the way that I define creativity and innovation is actually two ways. One way is it's about finding an unexpected solution to an expected problem or finding an expected solution to an unexpected uh, problem. So in your opinion, what does it take brands like Nike to be successful? I think that uh, a lot of these successful companies have a very simple core belief that you can get behind. The means by which you do pursue those things changes because the time changes and because the culture changes and because the world changes, but the belief uh, shouldn't change. You did a presentation at uh, Future Lions yesterday. The premise is to come up with an idea that wasn't possible five years ago. The fundamental fact about these award shows is that it's a celebration of the past. You know, it's often rare to find the future from the, from the past. You know, the future happens because you create it, not because you find it in the past, right? What inspires you because you inspire others? Where do you get your inspiration from? Inspiration is for amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I look at things, you know, less to be inspired, but uh, more to be educated so that I don't repeat the same idea or the work. So it's less about inspiration and more about the context and the reference. Mm. And I think inspiration, at least from my experience, uh, comes from things that I observe and I internalize and make them uh, my own. I heard some statistics that said that if you individually, right, change five people's life each year or so, and if those five people influence five other people and so forth, by the time you die, you would have influenced the world. I think of it as three circles, right? The immediate circle of people is the people that I work with. Second circle is the clients that I work with. And then the third circle is the, the real people outside, the people that, uh, that I don't know. Somehow, if I did today or what I do tomorrow, uh, make a difference, that's good, good enough for me. That's an incredible answer. <laughs> You're genius. Thank you so much for <laughs> your time.